So are you ready? I mentioned it's the final day of testing the Jody Aries trial, and this could be the last chance for the fence to save Jody's life. Let's get right to in sessions, Beth. Chris, you're actually be headed into that courtroom. What do you think? It's going to be, will it start on time? Are we truly in for a marathon day? Well, good morning or good afternoon, Kira. You down a degree or two to second degree murder, a manslaughter. This is their last effort, but the state is going to rebut their rebuttal. Another witness. Really? I see. So is that a sir? Sir rebuttal? Is that that is, John? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is a sir rebuttal. In all my years, almost three decades, I have rarely seen sir, sir rebuttal. Actually, I can't even remember ever seeing that. Hey, so it's going to get then, though. I mean, there's nothing after that. That will be it. That's a judge usually cuts it off before this, but when you've got a trial that's gone through four months, you know, it's like, okay, what's, what's one more? Well, the defense, the defense is going to uh, call it Ethanol's college, Dr. Rob Gaffin. The goal here is to discredit that Jody had line personality disorder. Dr. Dr. Let's break out the importance of this. Yeah, I don't understand what they're up to. I only imagine going back to fog because they focus a lot of their attention on her memory problems and how justified and how real they are. Some has a it's interesting as he's the coach for the National Partnership to End Personal Violence, which John makes me wonder how much credence does he bring to the table with that title? Uh, he's, he used to do more clinical stuff, but now he's pure expert. You know, I was reading some stuff on the internet and he's, he's, this is what he does. This, he's a he's paid expert. And when you see these guys go that way, you know, it's a, it's a hired gun. And, and, you know, you pay somebody in this country, pretty much give you any of any luck. You mentioned Sir, Sir Rebuttal, you know, it's like Martin's turn, the last word here, Dr. Drew, is kind of convinced even more. Yeah, the, the absolute, that's the point. We're sitting here speculating, scratching our head, not only why the judge would allow this, yes, sir, 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 sir again, <laughs> and I, we, meditation, I don't think in any way, a so on, uh, she create, well, she be had, and it's, you know, impair anyone's ability to know where the weapons were, understand the premeditation. It's convenient that it's sort of foggy, uh, and other thing that the things, Okay, it exists. Fine. Uh, that doesn't really make much difference, I don't think, in the overall standing jury or how this case goes. You know, it's going to go ahead, John. It's so nice to be the same side, Dr. Wright. I'm not going to defend Joe Darius. And so sir, sir, now, it's, but, yeah, but, now, it's, now it's great. <laughs> well, let's push those things against you. Tomorrow, to leave it. To, and, and I mean, that is the last ditch effort that they have both sides to get their points across. And what's interesting is when you, you know, John, you mentioned that this has already gone four months. I mean, the judge said they could be there till midnight if need be tomorrow. We're after dark's 10 to midnight. We're supposed that, to be live. Have you seen that in court, though, that they will, you know, you do, go you, late? You do what it takes. And, and in fact, they'll go Saturday. You know, they're, they're you know, that's not going to be scheduled. They're not going to have to come in Monday, Tuesday. You know, they'll come in Saturday if they have to, to finish off mm. that process to get, you know, to get this thing moving. It really depends on which way they go as to whether there, there needs to be more deliberations. But, you know, whatever it takes when it comes down to it, they'll sacrifice. It'll be a marathon. That's actually, yes. that's actually what I'm curious about is how long, say, John, you think the deliberations are going to go? Sense too? You'll never, 13 years, I've never been able to predict what a jury will do, especially when you have cameras in the courtroom. You know, once you have cameras in the courtroom and people have their 10, 15 minutes of fame, good grief, you know, Casey Anthony. Um, you never know, but... In a case that it's taken this month, they're not going to be a couple hours, but it's, it's you know, sometime after that, I think. Well, we are waiting for uh, court to begin in the trial. Remember, it's the final day of testimony. It should start any minute. You won't miss a second of it here on HN. To have Travis Alexander's close friend now reveals why she told him to leave Jody and my Travis put it off. Dr. Drew actually has the exclusive, and we'll get his thoughts about what Sky Hughes told him. Yeah, a lot of talking with our panel today, but we'll be tuning in. All right, conversation just get started here on Raising America. Every day we're talking about what matters to you and your family. Moment, and we will be telling you about those closing arguments that we're the only network carrying it probably every five minutes, so you don't forget. We are waiting for the Dirty Areas trial to begin it now. I know it's the final day of testimony. And uh, Drew, you actually had a close friend of Travis on your show, Sky Hughes. I understand Sky Hughes, uh, she's also in the courtroom right now. She claimed that Jody made up her own stalker. Let's take a listen to part of that interview. She had written a stalker. All right, so make up a stucker, do empathy, and get to do whatever she wants to do, right? Oh, yeah. That, that was one of, of 50 amazing highlights that Sky provided to us. Both she and her husband, Chris, really stunned by he was going to tell all, and that CB, she went to still the gun, started talking of gas cans. It was really a stunning relation to hear about this email exchange that Sky and her husband, Chris, had carefully called through. The other issue was Jody was eavesdropping on a private conversation that Chris and Sky was having with Ace was something he had never seen in his entire life. In fact, after seeing that on Jody, the two of them went to bed and were frightened that they had someone like that in their house, frightened for their children. 
Isn't that something? And there was there's some other sound that I thought was really interesting, Dr. Drew, with the, on the stage. Ensure her off, call the police if she threatens suicide. Dr. Drew, do they we have suicide? We're, okay. we're actually, just want to mention, John, we've got a, the, the judge just said, and you're seeing the bug there at the bottom of the screen. You can see Jody. Apparently, the, the jury's walking in. So we're going to take this coverage. You won't miss a second. Right after his whole entire history of how well-educated he is and experienced he is, I guess if you, gotta, if you want to prove that someone's crazy uh, and you've got individuals there on the stand, you got to prove they have street cred to say they know what they're talking about. That's it. You know, it's believability of witness. The jury will have a, a jury instruction on credibility, and so you've got to expound every every degree, every class you've ever taken to show that you know your stuff. You knew who this guy was. You were even into us. This guy's <laughs> he's pretty smart. He's pretty <laughs> smart. You know, like I said, he's more into different stuff. I watched a couple of YouTube videos this morning, and he's he had a couple easy jokes, and I. Yeah, I, I'm not a huge, huge fan, you know, from what I've seen so far, but we'll see. Do you ever think we need jokes today? Uh, no, in the final that, day before right. we decide Jody or his no, fate. No, that's right. And yeah. we're, they're, the jury has to decide which expert they want to believe more, so to speak. Who is their expert? He's Martin. Who is the one whose opinion I want to absolutely hang my hat on make this decision? Let's take a break, and we will take you back live into the courtroom next. Bob Geffner on the stand right now, laying out uh, basically the entire uh, resume before the court. As a, uh, uh, this is the final East pause button. You didn't miss anything during the hearing. It's closing argument. We're going to back into the courtroom. You didn't miss anything in the break. But in the end, it's going to be a long day, a long night. As the final witnesses are called to the stand. Uh, called in as a witness. We're actually back to the court. I'm sorry. Drew. I, I just promised when uh, my show tonight we will not be going over this. <laughs> Whatever he actually said. Whatever okay. you do, that's what we'll be doing. <laughs> so, so you're going to be, what, what are you paying attention to now? Once we get through street red here, okay? I'm I'm hoping that he sp takes opinion about the fog and I'll be attacking. Mm -hmm. All right, John, yes. quick thought. Yeah, it's uh, it's the mundane, but we'll get to it because they've got to build him up because the prosecution is going to tear him down over some of his disqualifications and other issues. John Phillips, thanks so much. Drew, thanks so much. We're going to keep going. Take a quick break. More on HLN straight ahead.